Hey everyone, I have the uh, GG Labs CGA to uh, VGA adapter here and a uh, multi sync, a neck multi sync E8 on 92M monitor here. And this is an interesting monitor. It, um, there were reports of 15 kilohertz mode working on Commodores. And uh, I am not a Commodore, obviously. This is an IBM PC clone. But the neat thing about this monitor is it actually does have DisplayPort and VGA while also supporting this. Um, I bought this monitor used for $15. Um, real steel. Uh, has a couple scratches, unfortunately. But uh, besides that, this, I have it hooked up to a uh, an ATI CGA Wonder. This is their first video card that ATI made. Uh, and let's get it started. All right. And then we have it booted. The ROM, the font is in ROM for this particular one. And I do actually have the volume. If I turn this on. Okay. I don't know how loud this is going to be. So 50%. And then uh, DIR slash W. I forget what's on here now. Uh, CD games slash TLC. C, uh, D I R, uh, C D on. No, is it on D drive? Yeah, there is. C D. Uh, I wanted to do something with sound. The first time I did this, I did Mons and Mars. Oh, I forget, this doesn't actually have the, uh, <laughs> it's doing it with PC speaker out. But uh, this is the CGA coming through uh, the system. And as you can see, there are pretty much no problems with it. On Mons and Mars, I was getting some weird interlacing stuff. Uh, but for the most part, it's ignorable. Uh. Oh shit. Doing this with one hand is very hard. <laughs> so that's that. Okay, and then uh, let's see. That's all right. Okay, uh, CGA Mar with four colors. And an app lib. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. I just used the wrong keyword. Who cares? No. And done. I do not know how to adjust the sound yet. <laughs> kind of doing this. This is my second run, but still. Um, hmm. Ah, 
It was under tools. What the hell? <laughs> Ah, uh, those lovely CGA faces. This is actually what I grew up with. It does actually not look as bad in EJ. Well, I think, all right, this is a kind of, this is actually using their point system interpreter to do this. It's one of the their Stranger games. And that's that. Okay, so that was that. So yeah, that is this setup. Um, it does need a five volt source. Um, if your monitor can't use this, you have to use an e a, uh, analog RGB two uh, frame dealer. And you can get those for arcade systems. They're not expensive, but I'd rather just have a monitor that's able to do it outright. Uh, uh, but I still may need one to do any video capture. I'm not certain that my capture device does it yet. Anyway, that is all that. So thanks for watching. I hope this was informative. That's all.